Hey everyone, welcome to episode 41 of Unboxing Wednesdays for books arriving in stores on August 10th, 2011. Rob, you gonna open some boxes or what? Yeah. All right. Just a reminder to everyone to check out our Time Nerds webcomic. We released page two this week, uh, so you can check that out at www.timenerds.com. To coincide with the release of the soon-to-be blockbuster movie, didn't this like get released like a month ago? Anyway, here's some Green Lantern movie pop hero figures. Okay, these are pretty awesome, but uh, you can't make too many of them. Star Wars ice cube trays. The first one is R2-D2. And what goes better in a rum and coke than a Carbonite Han ice cube? Nothing. Here is a Marvel variant Bishoujo statue. This is a variant of the Miss Marvel statue. And this is binary. Here's another Marvel Bishoujo statue. This is Jean Grey. And everyone's favorite Ghostbuster, Lucy. From DC, we have this Cover Girls Hawk Girl statue based on the art of Adam Hughes, and this is limited to 5,000 pieces. We've got these new Bazinga shirts based on Sheldon and the Big Bang Theory, and this time they're in green. Hero Clicks makes its first foray into the Street Fighter universe today. Uh, here is a Street Fighter Hero Clicks six figure starter set, and we've also got additional characters available in this. Street Fighter gravity feed display. These are single booster boxes. Why don't we get Rob to open this up and maybe open up a figure for us. Here you go, Rob. <laughs> they say I'm the clumsy one. I'm gonna break it. It doesn't work. Okay, Rob was gracious enough to open that up for us. It is not a gravity display as I thought it was. This is actually just a regular display. Rob's gonna open up one of the Hero Clicks right now. Yellow Ken. As you can see, Rob unboxed Yellow Ken. Okay, let's start off comics with the Fear Itself tie-ins for the week. First up is Ghost Rider issue two. Black Panther, The Man Without Fear, issue 522. New Avengers, issue 15. Fear Itself, Uncanny X-Force, issue two of three. New Mutants, issue 29. Alpha Flight, issue three of eight. Here is the Alpha Flight variant cover. And Fear Itself, book five. This issue promises a brawl between Hulk, The Thing, and Thor. Here's the variant cover showing just that. Punisher Max, issue 16. Vengeance, issue two of six. For those of you who have not seen it, I strongly recommend you head over to the Flavorful Sauces channel and take a look at their dramatic reading from Vengeance Number 1. It's probably one of the funniest videos I've ever seen. You should check it out and uh, check out their other dramatic readings while you're at it. X-Men Legacy issue 253. Incredible Hulks issue 634. Dark Wolverine issue 12. X-Men issue 15.1. I guess they're still doing those point one books. The Iron Age issue 3 of 3 has two covers this week. First is this Dark Phoenix cover. And then second is this Dazzler cover. Deadpool issue 41. The fallout from the death of Peter Parker continues in Ultimate Fallout issue 5. Here's the variant cover. The Spider Island event is officially underway. Here is a tie-in. This is called Spider Island Deadly Foes and this is a one-shot. We've also got Spider Island Cloak and Dagger. This is issue 1 of a three issue miniseries. And here's Amazing Spider-Man Spider Island Part 1. This marks Umberto Ramos's highly anticipated return to Spider-Man, and you can be sure that this issue is going to sell a lot of copies. Here is the variant edition of Amazing Spider-Man. And don't forget, you can still get a copy of this exclusive Stadium Comics variant to Amazing Spider-Man issue 666, which is the prelude to Spider-Island. You can pick it up by visiting our website, www.stadiumcomics.com, and go to the Special Offers tab, see all the details there. All right, let's look at some of the trade paperbacks and hardcovers that came in today. First up is Infestation Volume 1. Also from IDW, we have G.I. Joe Volume 5. Incredible Hulk's Dark Sun. New hardcover from Marvel today. This is Identity Wars, featuring Amazing Spider-Man, Deadpool, and Incredible Hulk. This collects the Spider-Man, Deadpool, and Hulk annuals, which all connected to form one complete story. Here's the new Amazing Spider-Man hardcover. This collects the stories where Spider-Man has joined the Future Foundation. Batman Imposters. New from DC is this Emerald Warriors hardcover. Transformers issue 23 has two covers this week that combine together. Mega Man issue 4 also has two covers. Here's the first one, and here is the second. Here's Unwritten issue 28. This is, uh, this is a really cool cover. Unwritten is uh, a book that everyone out there should be reading, uh, either in single issue form or in trade paperback. They had a choose your own adventure story 
a little while back. It's innovative stuff like that that keeps Unwritten uh, an interesting read. Here's Morning Glories issue 11, Joss Whedon's Dollhouse issue 2, Spawn issue 210, Jonathan Hickman and Nick Patara's Red Wing, issue two. Probably the most talked about indie book this week is Hellboy the Fury, issue three of three. It's been widely publicized that in this issue, Hellboy actually dies. It's sold out at the distributor level already, so uh, you might want to check your local comic shop to see if they've got any copies of this hanging around. DC Retroactive is in the 80s this week. We've got Justice League of America, Green Lantern, and Superman. Teen Titans issue 99, Birds of Prey issue 15, Batgirl issue 24, Red Robin issue 26. This is the last issue of Red Robin. I'll actually be sad to see this comic go. Batman and Robin issue 26. Here's the Batman and Robin variant. Batman 80 page giant. This is a one shot. Detective Comics issue 881. War of the Green Lanterns Aftermath issue 2 of 2. This leads directly into the Green Lantern books that will take place in the new DC Universe coming in September. And here is the variant cover. And we'll end off the comic books with the Flashpoint tie-ins for the week. Here is Booster Gold issue 47, Citizen Cold issue 3, Dead Man and the Flying Graysons issue 3, Frankenstein and the Creatures of the Unknown issue 3, and Emperor Aquaman issue 3 of 3. Okay, for last week's contest we were giving away a copy of Ultimate Fallout issue 4 to the best comment from the week on the new Ultimate Spider-Man. All right, we're inserting this segment into the video because we picked a prize winner for this week and it ended up they weren't uh, actually a subscriber. So I've erased that footage from existence and we had to pick a new winner. And you know what, I'm glad we had to because upon reflection, this person's answer was actually probably the best answer uh, and we probably should have chosen them in the first place. But the winner of last week's draw is YouTube user 22 Navia, who said that they were looking forward to the new Ultimate Spider-Man and compared uh, what's going on right now in comics uh, to the golden age of comics and said that we're at the dawn of a new golden age. And I think that they're kind of right about that. There's a lot of stuff going on in comics right now with the DC relaunch, all of the stuff that Marvel's doing with Spider-Man, uh, with Ultimate Spider-Man, and uh, you know a lot of the events that are happening on both sides uh, of the fence and a lot of great independent books that are out right now. So there really is like a comics renaissance going on right now. You can feel a lot of energy in the air anytime you walk into a comic shop. We are really enjoying it as retailers and we hope that the comic fans out there are enjoying it as well. So 22 Navia, if you could send us your address information, we'll get a copy of Ultimate Fallout number 4 sent out to you as soon as possible. Alright, back to our regularly scheduled programming. For this week's contest, we're going to give away this awesome Uncanny X-Force Issue 1 blank cover edition with a sketch by Valentine Delandro. Valentine has done a lot of work for Marvel Comics. Most recently, he worked on X-Factor. And this is a really cool Logan slash Wolverine sketch that he did on this comic for us. Now Valentine and a bunch of other artists that we've had here for our free comic book day are going to be appearing at the Fan Expo convention that happens at the end of August here in the Toronto area. The summer is definitely convention season here in North America. We just had the San Diego comic convention not too long ago. Fan Expo's coming up. New York's coming up in October. We've got Chicago coming up in August. Uh, so tell us what your favorite all-time convention story is. It could be something interesting that happened to you at a convention, a funny story, uh, something really cool that happened, somebody really cool that you met, or anything at all really. Rob and I will pick the best convention story next week and award this comic with a Valentine Delandro sketch on it to the winner. Remember that you must be a subscriber in order to participate. And we have a very special announcement for everyone out there. We're working on something right now. We've just kind of finalized a bunch of the details, but we're going to have more details coming in the next few days. We're going to be doing a midnight release party for Justice League issue one and for Flashpoint number five. DC as a publisher is allowing stores to do that. Now we're located in a shopping mall, so having a midnight release party here isn't very interesting or very possible for us to do. So we thought, uh, why not have it in a place where we can you know, maybe have a few beers, listen to some music, and uh, maybe have a live unboxing. So mark your calendars everyone, Tuesday, August 30th, here in Brampton, we're going to be having a Justice League launch party. And we're also going to be filming a live unboxing Wednesdays. So if you've ever wanted to see how, uh, how exactly we film this thing every week, uh, you'll be able to see it all live. Uh, we'll have lots of great prizes to give away as well. If you're anywhere within a two to three day drive from us, or you know, uh, 
eight to ten hour flight, you might want to come into Brampton that day and hang out with us as we celebrate the launch of the new DCU universe. We'll probably also have artists on hand to sketch for people as well, so it should be a good time. And just another quick reminder that time is running out to take advantage of our special offer on all 52 issues of the DC relaunch. You can go to our website, the special offers tab, to take a look at all the details for that. Uh, time is running out. So if you were thinking of getting in on that, you might want to do so. And thanks to everybody who's taken part in the offer already. Okay, everyone, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. As always, you can connect with us on any of the websites you see listed here on the screen. Don't forget to check out our new webcomic, TimeNerds.com. A new page is released every Monday. And also remember to watch the team from Flavorful Sauce do the reviews on our channel each and every week. Enjoy your comics this week, and we'll see you all next week for episode 42.